Hi, everyone. My name is Nora. I'm a senior product manager in Power Apps team. Hi, I'm Kavishi Agrawal, principal product manager in the Power Apps team. We are happy today to introduce you to what's new in the world of Microsoft Power Apps. And the topic we're bringing today is Express Design, build an app in seconds. We know the need for digitalization is growing at an unprecedentedly speed. We see in the company's app developing requirements keep piling up. However, there's never enough developers to fulfill all the requirements. With Power Apps, anyone can build an app easily, even they have no technical or development experiences. However, some people may still say it's not fast enough and there is still some learning curve. Now, I'm happy to introduce you Express Design, which will enable you to build an app from your existing design artifacts or an API in just a few seconds. So whether you're, you want to accelerate app development and get through a growing app backlog, or you don't have enough UI developers and want to scale, you can easily create new apps with Express Design. Now, as a maker, you can simply upload a Figma design file a PDF, a PPT file, a paper form, or a screenshot of a legacy UI, and Power Apps will convert it into a working app within seconds with a UI that's built from your input or from a, a connected data scheme. If you are a professional developer and already has a custom connector working, and it's just difficult to connect your app to your custom API, with Express Design, one line of command is all we need to create your Canvas app from your API. So today we offer you three different options. You can start an app from scratch, but we all know it sounds a little bit challenging, especially for new makers. We can also start from templates. Well, the templates look like end-to-end -end full solution, However, there's just not enough of the templates and not all the templates could meet your needs. Um, how about we start from data? But we all know the challenge is sometimes we don't have any data. So how do we do? With image to app, um, this will allow you to just upload an image. Like on the left, you have a sketch on paper and Power Apps will do the heavy lifting to convert it into a working app with data. Let's see a real scenario where a user uses image to app. Say you're in a team or you just want to start with some designs. You may want to first uh, put it on a paper, like draw a sketch on paper, um, or draw your design with Adobe XD, or even like me, I like to use PPTs. Um, with image to app, all you need to do is take a picture or take a screenshot and simply upload it to Power Apps, then Power Apps will, uh, will cover the rest uh, within a few clicks. What if you don't have designs? What if you're just simply not good at drawing? It's okay. When designs are not present, Image to App can also allow you to convert your image to an app from your existing processes. For example, you may have some current paper forms or PDF forms. You can just take a picture or a screenshot and upload it to Power Apps then image to app will convert them into an app uh, with data without you need to work manually to configure column by column. So let's take a look at how this magic works. After you have an image, you just upload it to Power Apps and we will use the Azure Cognitive Vision OCR model to recognize the text from your image. And we will also use the Azure Computer Vision object detection model to recognize the controls on your image. So it, whether it's a text input, a label, or a radio button, et cetera. And after that, even though it's optional, but it's recommended for you to set up the data through Dataverse. So you will have your data stored in Dataverse. And lastly, you will see an app whipping up in front of you, which looks exactly like your input. Now let's see a quick demo of image to app. I'm here on the Maker portal. I click Image to App Card, and I'll see uh, the screen telling me which images are okay or not. I click Next. I could choose from some sample images if I don't have any. Um, in this case, I'll upload my own, which is an appointment scheduling uh, picture I mocked in my PPT. 
I click next and I see um, quickly the um, app, the controls are tagged for me. I can go through the image and see if they're tagged correctly. Uh, everything is perfect. I click next and I can choose to create a new table in Dataverse. I'll go through the columns that this, the AI identified for me. Everything looks perfect. Again, I'll click next, review the table, and all set. Uh, within just a second, a working app which looks like exactly like my input will be in front of me. And now I can play the app and enter some value and start saving my data in, in the table I just created. Now um, I'll hand over to Kavishi to talk about Figma app. Thanks, Nora. As you know, most apps don't start with the backlog of a software designer. They start with a problem statement and a design. Figma 2 app bridges that gap between design and development. With Figma 2 app, designers and developers can collaborate together to build an optimal experience for the end users. As we know, most of the customers and end users create care about pixel perfect apps. They want apps that solve their business needs and problems soon. However, it is often very challenging for developers to recreate the same experience that designers have built in the design tool in Power Apps. It's very time consuming and it's often not what is required. It is also very frustrating for designers and end users to see that the end result does not match their expectation. Figma 2 app exactly solves that problem for you. With Figma 2 app, designers and developers can collaborate together to build user-friendly solutions. Designers need to focus on building the right experiences for the end users, whereas developers can just focus on adding the app logic and functionality. And together, they can create a working app in minutes. This is a huge productivity saver that will allow businesses to roll out user-friendly, great-looking apps to their users in short amount of time and effort. Now let's look at a real scenario where Figma 2 app would be really useful. Imagine you are a professional designer who works in a company and you're working on creating an app for, let's say, for frontline workers. You work with a team of developers who then recreate these designs and spin out an app for the end users. In such a scenario, Figma 2 app would be really useful because as a designer, you understand the needs of the end users. You can create a user-friendly app on design using the design tool and then hand over it to developers who can use Figma 2 app to recreate that pixel perfect design automatically in Power Apps and just focus on now adding the app functionality and logic, which will allow you to serve the needs of your users much better. Now let's look at how does it all work. First, as a designer, you would go to the design tool, which is Figma, and use Power Apps UI component to create the designs. Then as a designer or a developer can simply enter the Figma file details, which is just the Figma file name, some other important details, and just upload that Figma file to Power Apps. Once you upload that Figma file to Power Apps, we simply call the Figma API in the background to understand the styling and details of the file. Also, since you use Power Apps UI components, we understand what those components exactly mean in Power Apps, and we are able to do one-to-one -one mapping. Once you hit create, we simply create a working app for you, and your app looks exactly like the one you designed in the design tool. This, again, is a huge productivity saver for both designers and developers and allows you to serve the needs of your customers much better. Now, let's look at it in action. I, as a designer, use Figma to design experiences. What you see here is a Figma Design Studio where I have designed these screens using Power Apps UI Toolkit. Power Apps UI Toolkit is similar to any other UI toolkit that designers use in Figma. It is simple to use. You can simply drag and drag components from the toolkits to recreate these files. So you go to Assets. Let's say you want to add a new component. So all you'll do is you'll simply drag and drop the, drag and drop the components to this canvas, and you'll start creating your designs. It is also very easy to customize the styles, to customize the designs however you like. In this case, I want to add a button to my design file. Again, I'll go to the left pane, I'll grab the button, I'll rename it, I'll style it however I want, all using Power Apps UI Toolkit, which is again as simple to work with as any other toolkit that designers work on today. 
Now, as you see, my design file is all ready. It looks beautiful. It serves the needs of my customers. So now I can simply take that Figma design file and start creating an app in Power Apps. And you will see, we will be able to create a working app in just a couple of minutes. So from the Power Apps experience, I'll choose create an app from Figma. I'll go and add the app name. Again, I can give whatever name I want. I'll give the link to the design file that we just saw. I'll add the access token, which can be easily retrieved from the settings of your Figma file. I can choose the layout and hit create. You do not require any additional steps or any manual effort except the link of your design file to create an app with the similar screens. Now, what you see in Power Apps here is exactly the same design that you saw in the Figma. The screens look exactly how the designers designed it. So now all I need to do is just bind this app to data, add additional functionality that I need, and I will have a working functional app ready in a couple of minutes. Thank you. Over to you, Nora. Thank you, Kavishi. A great demo. Now, Kavishi and I have uh, demonstrated if you have a design file, how you use Express Design to convert it into an app. Now let's talk about what if you're a professional developer and uh, what if you, you just don't want to spend time drag and drop your UI controls or it's difficult to connect your custom API to your app. Uh, we also have API to app within Express Design to allow you to easily create apps from your custom data connectors in just three simple steps. So we'll first start with your custom API. Uh, any API would work. Like in this case, we have an API in Azure. Next, it only takes one command line. Um, you can run it in the pack uh, CLI command to generate an app and you will then automatically have an app in your file folder. Then you can package it and import the package uh, and run it in Power App Studio. You can run it as it is or decide to customize it further. Let's see what are the real examples and scenarios. We have been told by our customers that it is difficult to connect the custom API to Power App. With API to App, um, now you can automatically generate a Power App from a customer connector with predefined automatically created Canvas UI based on the API's metadata. And as I said earlier, after you converted that draft app, if you're happy with it, no problem, take it as it is. But if you or your team wants to extend based on it, you can also leverage Power App Studio because now it's just as any other normal Canvas app, you can feel free to add screens or add more functionalities to make it um, fit more for your business need. Now let's show you a quick demo of API to app. So I'll first start with a custom connector, which was generated automatically by importing an open API definition for an externally hosted REST API. This also works with Azure hosted APIs, such as Azure Functions. So with this, Power Apps makes it quick and easy to generate apps from your Azure interface. As well, in our example here, we have an API that returns inventory data about a pet store business. We will generate an app by running the new API to app commands from the command line interface, or CLI. After we run the create command, we can see the app files are generated in this folder, and then we can take the output, package them, import into Power App Studio. Several options are automatically created based on the actions available in the backing API definition. We can now try, try them out by entering some input, and also uh, you can uh, now click the button there in the, uh, in the app, and test if your API works as expected. Now, you can run this app as it is, or you can decide or your team, if you want to add more functions, add more UI components, you can also feel free to do it. For now, this is just treated as any common Canvas API where you have the full capability from Studio to further customize it to meet your business needs. All right, with that, uh, this is almost the end of, of our session. I want to really 
Thank you for joining our sessions today. And here are more sessions you can learn about what's new in the world of Microsoft Power Apps. And really thank you for coming to our session today. Thank you everyone for joining us today. We are really excited for you to try out all these features and provide us feedback. Again, thank you and really appreciate your time.